Your house is very nice. You've lived here how long? 44 years. And now look at the house next door here in Mark Twain on Detroit's northwest side. It's rotting away, not protected. This shows you how bad it is. Overgrown and a home to rats. This not fair. She says squatters, a perpetual problem in Detroit. We're living inside here for a while in the worst way with no indoor plumbing. What they were, were they throwing doing? their human waste out into the backyard. She showed us how she emailed City Hall on the mayor's office going back three long years. That's why she called us. I wasn't going to let it go. So the city's giving you the runaround. Right. They're not doing anything. <laughs> After our call to the mayor's office, check out the army that showed up now to mow the grass, clear the forest in the backyard, and board up the house to make it secure. We're told this house has been in the Detroit Land Bank for 19 months. So for a year and a half you've had it, and it looks like nothing's been done until today when we're out here. Understood. And get this, he says this house does not need to be torn down. It can be salvaged. Can I take a look? We did a walkthrough and found the house to be stripped to the bare walls. The kitchen is gone. The plumbing may need to be replaced. In the basement, the electrical is shot. That all looks like it would have to be replaced. That's yeah. not usable. Right, you have to replace all that. And there's more damage in the basement. But isn't this a load-bearing wall? Yeah, it is. So that's not good. Right, it's not. So the house will um, was deemed salvageable. Uh, through our inspectors. He says someone has contacted the land bank to buy this and it will be put into their system next month for that person and all bids. Somebody will need a lot of money. It's going to take about $60,000 to bring back to, to life. Wait, in Detroit? That's a big gamble on the future. In the 2017, we're looking at sales at uh, $25,000, today $40,000, and if the trajectory continues upward, Anybody that looks to buy this house and invest $60,000, they'll actually have uh, some equity in a few years of owning this property. Even more staggering, the sheer numbers of these in Detroit. The land bank has 28,000 vacant homes and buildings. Most will be torn down. How many like these? Not hundreds, but thousands. 7,000 homes like this, so you could have 7,000 Carolyn's. Potentially. The bottom line is that I'm not moving. I'm going to keep complaining until they do something about it because they're not going to be able to sell this house, I can tell you that. If this house is sold, the land bank continues to monitor to make sure the restoration is in compliance within six months. In Northwest Detroit, Jim Kurtzman, 7 Action News.